here today to do a Soul Calibur 4 review. The platform and consoles are Xbox 360 and PS3. The players at most is two. The consoles online play is pretty good for a fighting game. Hardly any in-game lag. It comes specifically from the players. A tale of sword and souls forever be told. The storyline is simple. For the longest time, Soul Calibur has proven to many fans that fighting games can hold swords and weapons. Ever since the long-forgotten Soul Edge game, the game has grown to find itself in people's hearts. The storyline is a story of people in the ageless long, long fight of Soul Calibur and Soul Edge, two legendary swords filled with the power of light and darkness respectfully. Like always, Siegfried takes up Soul Calibur and Nightmare takes up Soul Edge, as many people would worldwide come far and wide to come defeat the two swords to get the power for themselves. Who will win? This is up to the player. I give this game's storyline a 10 out of 10. The graphics. The graphics have grown ever since Soul Edge from 2D to 3D to almost realistic 4D. Soul Calibur 4 has grown into a very popular series for this reason. It has tons of realism in it and the characters and stages look nearly flawless. That is why I give it a 10 out of 10. Gameplay. The gameplay is awesome. One-on-one -on -one fighting and possibly 2 on 4 it varies per stage of the storyline but nonetheless it is definitely one keeper because it is awesome the ability to create your own fighter has enhanced in this version as well giving you hundreds of ways to create a new character however they took the, op the originality out of it by taking original weapons away but in the end it's just easier to play with these weapons that are made by the game designers that fit characters you've already played before which is why I give it a 10 out of 10 sound the music is beautiful and when I say beautiful I don't joke I mean seriously it is fucking beautiful I mean there really isn't much music when it comes to fighting games because you're all you hear is Ugh, ah, guck. but if you take time to pause the game and hear the beauty of the music it is really nice the VA voice actors are pretty good too. I mean, every fight it has something different to say. It's really awesome. Which is why I give it a 10 out of 10. Multiplayer. The online multiplayer experience that Soul Calibur 4 gives is really awesome. I mean, you can fight against people worldwide without any in game induced lag. You can also fight offline like you always could. It's really awesome. I think it's definitely worth buying. Which is why I give it a 10 out of 10. Controller complexity. The controller complexity isn't really that hard unless you're like me and just want to go, woohoo, awesome moves, let's go, instead of button mashing. However, if you want to learn some of the stronger moves, the controller complexity gets a bit harder. But nonetheless, whether you're a button masher or a hardcore player, I think you should definitely play this game, which is why I give it a 10 out of 10. My overall rating is 10 out of 10. My rating for the game itself is 10 out of 10. Pros, pretty much everything. Cons, they took away the originality weapons for the created characters. Overall comments is it's a must have for fighter for fighters and stuff. Yeah. Here's a um a comment from someone who read my review on insanitysanctum.com. I read your review and brought and bought it for the PS3. I made Sephiroth, Naruto, Sakura, Sasuke and the guy from Death Note, so I can pretty much say I'm darn happy. Darth Vader pawns so much ass. What's next? Soul Calibur 5 featuring Captain John or Jean Luc Picard and Conquer? Great review. That was Zinko Nayanama from InsaniSanctum.com. Alright, folks, that wraps up my review on Soul Calibur 4. Next week I'll be reviewing Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and Super Mario 64 DS and Mercenaries 2 Worlds in Flames. I hope you enjoy my review. Later.